What's up guys, welcome back to my channel once again. So I'm sitting here with students from TU Braunschweig and if you don't know where Braunschweig is, have a look at this map. Uh, this is where I am today. So this morning as you guys saw the vlog, I've traveled here just to take you guys around the TU campus here and also um, they're doing computational science here so i'll be talking about their journey of where did they start from what are the processes like what are the mistakes which they did on their way so that you guys can learn from this how about i start with introduction for both of you like yeah. you know, first uh, either of you can just you know one train and go ahead with it. Sandeep, why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself to my audience just as a part of profile which they can compare themselves with uh, my name is Sandeep and uh, I'm coming from Hyderabad, which is in Telangana state. So, um, I've been staying here since uh, one and a half year. What do you study? What course? Uh, I'm, I'm studying computational sciences in engineering. So, basically, I have done my bachelor's in uh, mechanical engineering stream in uh, Anura group of institutions. It is affiliated by Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Hyderabad. It's mm -hmm. called JNTUH. And I had 78 percentage uh, in my bachelor's. Uh, only the, not the percentage, but you have to also convert into German grade. That work, that that is what important. And Where did you do that? I used uh, some websites. All right. Uh, to, so to it's convert. it's doable, right? Yeah, it's like completely doable by yourself without taking anyone's help. Uh, yeah, without it's simple to calculate. Many All right. People have the standard how to calculate. Even some universities offer this standard on their websites, like TU Munich, if you go, you will have the inbuilt grading system. You just have to enter the maximum marks, minimum marks to pass, and what's your percentage, and it will give you a German grade. It's so simple. Before coming here, I worked from 2015 to 2016 in some research organization. My role was mainly to do some uh, computational material stuff where I have to, I am a little bit giving more uh, insight of what I did because it will be useful for you guys to measure your work experience, compare the work experience. So I was doing on material research of composites where I have to do the, it is called multi-scale modeling. So I've, I've done the homogenization of materials so if you guys are seeing this video you should have this idea and this is what makes you uh, eligible to get into these universities when you're applying for the courses of computational sciences you need such experience when you have that experience even though you have a little bit low percentage this will suffice this will suffice and then i also had 6.5 in ielts which is you know now it is not really sufficient because they want seven or something it's better to have good ielts greater than 7 or equal to 7 and I had also GRE I had 306 and I scored 167 in quant that is very important I also had gate score but I don't think it is really important because I just cleared it like 39 marks during that time and uh, but still clearing the gate is also some challenge I can say and um, my university is not really a great university when you compare with NITs, IITs and TIBLITs or BITs. So you're uh, talking about your bachelor college, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. My bachelor college. Okay. So some if you are really applying for some from some NITs, uh, definitely you'll have very high standard of education. Uh, the level of education will be more and the research quality will be more. The teaching will be good there. So you have really high chances of getting here. And uh, for me, it was little difficult because um, my college is not a recognized college, so I have to do some more things to get here. Before coming here, I've done until A2 level of German in Goethe Institute. Um, and um, I had also this one year experience where I also got letter of uh, recommendation. So, you know how important this letter of recommendation is. Uh, I've worked under a scientist. Uh, in some research organization where I did not get any salary, I just work for free, you know, sometimes you have to sacrifice to make you yourself eligible. There he has given me letter of recommendation that has given me huge weightage when I am applying to these universities. Coming to my statement of purpose, this also plays an important role. Many people give this writing letter of motivation to friends or uh, to third party organizations where they write it for them. But it is you who are motivated and it is you, you sh uh, who should write the motivation letter. And believe me or not, I spent almost five to six months in designing my letter of motivation. Sometimes I just used to think, what am I? And I have to uh, redesign, redesign completely uh, 
re-edit my letter of motivation during every application. So I used to do this and I have standardized my letter of motivation. So that that is very important when you are uh, applying for Germany. That was very comprehensive, Sandeep. Uh, um, let's talk about Vishal now. Mm-hmm. Hello guys, uh, Vishal here. I'm from Baroda, Gujarat. I completed my Bachelor of Bachelor in Mechanical Engineering uh, in Edi Patel Institute of Technology and that was affiliated to Sardar Patel University. Right now it is converted into Gujarat Technological University. I am here since September 2017 in Germany. I would say unusual thing for me is that I had already eight years of experience, but uh, I would say I was quite passionate about my masters. So. After eight years of experience, I applied for master's program of TU Braunschweig. The thing was that I was already working in simulation department in one of the turbo machinery uh, manufacturing industry. So that was like kind of uh, initial push up for me that I was already working with simulation. But the thing was that I was like working after the computer and I wanted to have some idea of what is going on behind the computer. That would I would say how the actual software, I would say simulation software was working. That was like quite fascinating for me. And so I was searching a lot. I mean, I had already three years of contract with the uh, industry. So within the, these three years, I was searching different programs which are like uh, more or late, uh, more or less similar, related to this simulation kind of stuff. So I came to know the, the TU Braunschweig uh, in TU Braunschweig University. There is a course related to simulation, and uh, then I decided to apply for that. So finally, in 2016. Uh, I applied for that, but unfortunately, I got rejection. I don't know the exact reason for that why they rejected my application. But I decided to like improve my German language because at that time I already had a level of language, a level of German language. So then I joined one private tutor and I like improved my German language up to B1 level. And again, I apply for this the same course in March 2000, February 2017. And the second time I got admission. That, it, that was, I would say, kind of a surprise for me because the first time I got rejection and second time I got acceptance. So the one thing I would like to say that never give up of your dream. If you want to apply for Germany, then go ahead. But the thing is that you'll have to keep certain points in your mind. First of all, academics. It is kind of a critical criteria for application. Even though they will, the admission committee will evaluate your profile as an overall, the first thing they will look at is your academics. And it's always better to have, have, for example, kind of distinction with percentage or more than 70% of bachelor's course, uh, bachelor's degree grade is like uh, most. Acceptable. Yeah, uh, acceptable. Yeah, exactly. Apart from that, there are certain criteria. For example, if you're doing some kind of internship in cert, uh, certain research institutes, for example, already Sandeep have mentioned that he's worked in one research organization, then it's definitely going to be helpful for your application. Apart from that, there is one criteria is uh, German language. At the time of application, you'll have to have a level of German language. Second, you'll have to provide some kind of language proof for English language. And it's going to be like IELTS or TOEFL. In my case, I got seven. So it was like sufficient for them. Uh, if you don't take GRE and GET, it doesn't matter, but it will definitely strengthen your profile for application. Uh, for example, you don't have sufficient grade or something in bachelor, then it, it will like definitely helpful for your application. Additional thing is that, yeah, all, as already Sandeep has mentioned, uh, letter of motivation is quite, quite, quite important for German, any German institution. They will definitely consider a critical document for your application apart from your ac- academics. 